Well, instead of buying non-perishable food to feed people in need, one Forsyth church decided to grow their own. Angelie Nichols shows us how the church is growing vegetables and community. It's a story that comes straight from the heart. We are having tomatoes, squash, cucumbers, uh, zucchini, okra, beans, peas. Members at First Baptist Church in Forsyth get their hands dirty, preparing a community garden. The congregation finds a way to feed the hungry without making a trip to the grocery store. It costs less because we're just buying the seeds and of course it always is cheaper if you're able to just donate supplies and grow it yourself and you get to feel a whole lot better at the end of the day. Volunteers pulled out their green thumbs and got to planting. People from all ages work on the garden including 91 year old James Stewart. Coming from a family of farmers, Stewart helps give people a nutritious option for a meal. Because people don't have a room for a garden so they don't all, all they get is what somebody will give them. First Baptist pastor Hambrick Brooks says the idea got started because the church realized nutritious meals aren't easily accessible to people in need. Brooks says Monroe County might be rural, but some people don't know how to garden or have the space for one. Especially people that are usually uh, down and out and in need, you know, they need somebody to be able to help them along the way and that's that's sort of our goal with this. While the fellowship works to serve their community, they also build relationships with each other. People are working together, uh, rolling up their sleeves and talking and getting along together and uh, just building community among each other too. Growing veggies to feed the hungry, but also growing friendships in the community. And for Scythe, Inslee Nichols, 13 WMAZ News. After those veggies grow, they will take them to food pantries nearby for distribution.